All right, good afternoon, everyone. Troy Hubza here with Matheson TriGas IT support. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Trackabout and how Trackabout is utilized in the North Zone here for Matheson. Um, Trackabout, you know, as we know, is utilized in all of our locations, all of our stores. And uh, at each of our locations, our end users have USB docking cradles that are hooked up to their computers. These USB uh, docking cradles are used to uh, dock their Motorola MC3100 scanners and then sync their scans into Trackabout. Unfortunately, they cannot do that if Windows Mobile Device Center is not working properly. Now, as many people know, Windows Mobile Device Center is supported by Windows 7, but it is not supported by Windows 10. And as Matheson continues to move forward, rolling out Windows 10 machines, um, we are losing our functionality of being able to, you know, uh, sync our scanners via the docking cradles by utilizing this Windows Mobile Device Center. So I'm going to show you a real quick and dirty way of fixing this Windows Mobile Device Center so that it will work with Windows 10. Um, also, I'm kind of hoping that, you know, the uh, management up at Basking Ridge will find a way to um, implement this fix on not only the images that are being rolled out in the future, but um, I need to know if there is a way that we can make this change on all computers in the North Zone that utilize Trackabout um, without physically placing hands on each computer. So let's go ahead and let's just show you what we need to do. So here's here's the problem we're having is if you try to fire off Windows Mobile Device Center uh, using Windows 10, it will not fire off the application. Uh, it'll sit there and it will just spin. You can try it till the cows come home. It is not going to work. Um, you may get this, you know, this green Windows Mobile Device Center box, but that is as far as you're going to get with the application. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you the fix here now. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to kill the task. Go to the task manager. I'm going to just kill off the Windows Mobile Device Center because this will not load. It is going to sit here and do this forever. So we're just going to kill that off. And now we're going to get started showing you our fix. So uh, it's very simple. Basically go down click on your start menu and go to services.msc. We're going to take a look at the services running on this device or on this computer. We're gonna make this a little bigger so we can see what's happening. Okay, so we have our services.msc up here. Now I need you to basically scroll down and here are all of your services. You're going to look for something that says Windows Mobile. And if you look, you're probably on each machine, you're probably either gonna have two or you're gonna have three services running. Um, so anything that says Windows Mobile. You can see there's three of them here. Windows Mobile Hotspot Service, uh, Windows Mobile 2003 uh, Based Device Connectivity, and Windows Mobile Based Device Connectivity. So there's three things in the services that say Windows Mobile. We are going to make a change to all three of these that say Windows Mobile. So let's go ahead and let's do the first one, Windows Mobile Hotspot Service. Click on it once to highlight it, and then I want you to right click and go to properties. Uh, when this dialog box appears, you're going to click on the log on tab. Now you'll notice that right now it is set for this account. I want you to change that to local system account. And I also want you to put a check mark in allow service to interact with desktop. Once you have done that, click Apply, click OK. Now we're going to go down, we're going to do the second Windows Mobile service. We're going to click on it once to highlight it. Then we're going to right click, we're going to go to Properties. 
we are going to once again go to the log on tab here again you will say you will see that it is set for the specific account we are going to change that we're going to select this local system account we're going to put a check mark in allow service to interact with desktop hit apply and hit OK now let's go ahead and let's do our third one click on it once to highlight it Windows Mobile based device connectivity right click and go to properties here again we're doing the same thing we're going to click on the log on tab you will see the same thing you saw before local services set we are going to change that we want to change that to local system account and then place a check mark in this box that says allow service to interact with desktop hit apply you will get this message the new logon name will not take effect until you stop and restart the service hit OK hit OK to exit and now what you're going to want to do is on this this third one here that says Windows Mobile based device connectivity I want you to right click on that and I want you to stop the service Windows will stop that particular service from running and then I want you to go ahead and restart the service so you're gonna once again you're gonna right click on it and you're going to restart or start now we're gonna go over here we're going to try our Windows Mobile Device Center and as you will see Windows Mobile Device Center will now function with Windows 10 uh, you can go ahead and you can close your services.msc um, I do not have anything in the cradle right now in the USB docking cradle so this is normal you should see this um, you know the first time you fire off Windows Mobile Device Center just hit accept and this is what your Windows Mobile Device Center should look like now as you can see it says not connected that is because I do not have um, a track about scanner in the docking cradle I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to dock one now and you should see it automatically connect there you'll see it is connecting and once it says it's connected now you need to wait for it to fully connect I know the first time I dropped a cradle or uh, dropped a scanner into my cradle it took a moment or two but now you can see it is connected um, just just to prove my theory I'm going to remove the scanner from the cradle there you can see it disconnected I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop it back in its cradle so the scanner is now back in its cradle and there you see Windows Mobile Device Center is once again connecting to our scanner um, and one final way to just test to make sure that this is working properly is you can open up your my computer or this PC known on Windows 10 and there you will see right here this Windows CE device this is actually your scan gun this is actually your track about scanner uh, this is where you would go in now to this particular drive right here that just shows the backslash you would then go into program files and then in here um, you would normally find a folder that says TA mobile 6.0 that folder contains your log files now the only reason there is not a folder in here that says TA mobile 6 is because the particular scanner that I have docked right now does not have track about installed on it so there you have it we have our solution a quicker solution to fixing the Windows Mobile Device uh, Center for Windows 10 I just need to know how can we incorporate this in all of our images moving forward as well as possibly get this out across the north zone to all of our PCs that uh, are using these docking cradles so